uh, and the third thing we're going to bring to pretty big point is online textbooks for the core curriculum and eventually the rest of the curriculum. This is basically having ASCSU and the faculty council work together. I've been working with the committee uh, this semester, it's headed by Blake Gibson, with uh, bringing uh, textbooks or online textbooks as part of our core curriculum. And it's going to be having faculty in these core classes choosing these online textbooks as books that they go off of every semester. <coughs> Instead of you saying in your syllabus, you know, what book you're going to use, you go buy it at the library or Big Dog. You actually go online, there's advertising on the side, it's completely free to look at these books, or you can print them off for 15 or 20 bucks at Kinko's and have them bind it. So this is directly going to save two or 300 bucks a semester. It's going to take a lot of work from ASCSU to push this through and we'll have the whole cur core curriculum using online textbooks. Yeah, textbooks, um, another thing we're doing with them, because that's obviously a big deal, you know, students are concerned about. We're also going to make it mandatory for teachers to have the book on, uh, on loan on the reserve at the library. We talked to the library and they have the space for that. Um, right now, a lot of classes, when you, a teacher says, well, do you want me to put a book on, you know, loan? And kids say yes, but it takes three or four more weeks for them to order the book and get it out there. Uh, and then, you know, it's pretty much just a waste. So by, you know, requiring that the teachers have that, you know, copy in the library before the semester starts, a student could make the conscious decision to say, well, I'm not going to go spend 200 bucks on, on this book at the, at the uh, bookstore. I'm going to dedicate, you know, a certain amount of hours each week or some time on the weekends to going in there and looking at our books uh, and looking at the book because I know it is in the library and it's guaranteed to be there. When, uh, when, you, when you're talking about Free online textbooks are all textbooks available online, or they're only select ones. No, it's only certain ones, and it's basically when professors uh, write them. A lot, some professors come up to me on pause and be like, "Well, I'd have to write my own textbook if I want to have it used for free." Well, that's not right. Uh, you can get on there. Uh, you can go on to flatworldlearning.org, for example. Check out those. There's some websites being developed, and it's basically this, uh, this movement of. Uh, people trying to make higher education more affordable, trying to battle these big three textbook companies that are running the show right now. Um, like I said, their revenue, how these companies are able to operate with the textbooks online is uh, they have advertising on the side. I actually used a textbook um, uh, from the finance, for finance class, a business college, a teacher used it for Finance 305. You can look at it online, there's advertising on the side, but I chose to order for 19 bucks. I mean, I thought it was a pretty good deal. And uh, it's still, I still use it today for a reference, and it's a $19 textbook that I just used. So. And so you would mandate the teachers? I mean, that's complicated. It basically goes through cal faculty council and ASCSU are basically the branches between, uh, you know, the leadership and, and, and policy. So we'd have to work with the faculty council, and that would be a great goal to have them mandate every core class you use an online textbook. There are a lot of core classes. You'd have to work in and find a good compromise. As many core classes, as many classes as possible to use these. That'd be great. How are you going to guarantee that the, so the select textbooks that are available online are the best for the education of students on campus? Yeah. These, these textbooks are written by faculty, um, are still the same quality of graphs. It, it, it basically looks like the same textbook. But when you're comparison econ textbooks, I mean, Greg Mancou is the most popular one. And he, you know, there's not that much of a difference between his and some other macroeconomic textbook. They're all uh, accredited professors, yeah. you know, and uh, the open source textbooks, that's what they're called online. Um, a lot of them are contributed, it's perfect, like I said, accredited professors um, from, you know, all types of schools from all over the country, not just Ivy Leagues, but, you know, sure Colorado, um, professors from the state too that have contributed to um, these open source, cheaper textbooks. Uh, so I think in, they're all, high, you know, they come highly recommended and, like I said, accredited. Um, so. I mean, actually, in this committee, we were talking about what what does the bookstore think about this? What is the uh, where students bookstore? And they've actually been um, uh, supportive of this. And I was surprised because their jobs are kind of online, um, but they are supportive of it. I think that is a non-profit uh, organization. Uh, the the bookstore there. Um, would be would, is up for it, and I don't know if this university doesn't run these online sites for the advertising revenue. Right? Um, it's basically faculty choosing to use the businesses these sites that have the online textbooks. So the businesses and the sites are, are making the money, um, and the faculty just suggests that we use those books.